Hello everyone, today we're gonna to learn how we can pass process data in open form and also how we can use ParaView. After that, we're gonna to use uh, sample DIC utility and also single graph utility to extract data and also validate uh, the numerical results against experimental data. In the previous video, we use black mesh utility to generate a mesh for the lead driving cavity and we solve the problem which is an incompressible flow in a cavity we use icoform solver we also use power view to visualize the results and also for the past processing of the open form data in the previous video we have checked the velocity field and also the pressure field in the cavity but now we decided to extract data over line and for this purpose we're gonna to use a filter a source filter in the paraform uh, with the name of plot over line finally we write a script to plot the extracted data and also we are gonna to use GNU plot package for the plotting and visualization of the extracted data and after that we can also validate the new car results against other uh, safety or experimental data it is not so important but here we can pair our result with find a difference method okay i set it for the lead drive and cavity and i found safety online website here you can find some description about this test case and also the problem definition as i presented in my previous uh, video uh, and a sample result from ANSYS Fluent uh, commercial software uh, is presented here. They validate uh, their model against uh, at all who use find the difference method for cavity test case. And here you can find uh, this picture. They plot dimensionless velocity at center of the uh, cavity and compare their results with Rio at all. We are also gonna to extract data from the open form data from the data that are written by open form and plot them by GNOPLAT software and check the validity of the icoform solver. I load my open form version 7 and check the directory. As you see here there are several folders and the new folder is highlighted here and uh, this folder is generated uh, was generated when I run the icoform and after that the results uh, were written in this uh, folder we can check them for example we go to the this directory the first time steps 0.1 it is the physical time and you can find pressure p phi or uh, surface flux and u uh, the velocity of the flow and in the file of the information you can find something about the time step and physical time i open the velocity and you can see here also the dimension of the velocity and internal field uh, for the velocity at time of 0.1 as you can see here also the location of this file this is the new value of the velocity at this time steps it is uh, completely different from uh, the previous uh, value for the velocity at folder of 0 I close this one I back to my working directory okay i open the paraform again and now i want to show you again the velocity as you see like this one but my purpose is to plot the velocity on uh, center line of the cavity and then uh, see the variation of the velocity in the y direction for the velocity in the x direction uh, we have to extract the data we can uh, use uh, the plot over line filter on the para view when I click this one, it needs two points. Uh, I specified the points. The first is here on the center on the bottom of the cavity and the second on the top of uh, the cavity in the center, center of the line. Uh, okay, the first, the x is equal 5% and at the bottom, second here, and I think that could be fine. After that, you can find everything here. Uh, don't forget to click on uh, the new line chart and then go down to change the variable. We just needed UX. You can see here the UX is uh, have a minus sign 
in this area and then it uh, increases up to velocity 1 as uh, we specify on the boundary condition for the velocity. As you see here, uh, the trends of the variation of the velocity in this figure is similar to the something that presented on the Ria uh, et al. paper or on the safety and learn website. To validate it completely, we are going to uh, extract data completely from this test case and using GNOPLAT uh, to compare the result. We extract data from the previous picture on the CFT online website and we write this data on this file. We open it by Genie. As you see here, the first column is the position, a non dimensional position, and the second is the non dimensional uh, velocity. We use this value for the validation to extract data from the OpenVoom file, from, for example, the velocity from this file. It is uh, very, very difficult to extract data uh, from this file, as you see. But we can use sample dict or sample utility or single graph uh, utility. Here, with the name of the single graph, when I open it, you can find something uh, that, uh, that can help you to extract data. The first, you have to introduce the start point. Uh, as you maybe remember for the power view, I introduced two points. The first is here. It is the center of the bottom one and it is uh, the center of the top, the moving one. And I need the field of view and you can easily uh, change it to, for example, to extract data for the pressure. Also for the configuration, uh, we have to uh, specify the axis. Since we take the variation of the velocity in the y direction, we set the axis to the y. An additional uh, configuration uh, is the number of the points that we needed for uh, the extracting data. We set to a high number, it is not necessary, but we, uh, we use this value to ensure that the number of uh, data that extracted from this field is enough for the validation. Okay, that's all for the single graph. Uh, now we can run the post process function with single graph and then extract data. I open my terminal again and run process dash func or function and I type single graph and as you see here it executes this function object single graph and read the file u and write something in the uh, in a new directory, name it post processing. I open it. We can find single graph, and in this time, uh, this is the time of zero, and this is time of the 0 0.5. I open the final time step, and here line u x y. The first is the axis, uh, the position in the y direction, as uh, we specify in the single graph file. The second is u x, and the uh, third is uh, u in the y direction and uh, the last column is the u in the z direction since we have a two-dimensional uh, simulation the velocity in the z direction is equal to the one okay i back to my folder to write a code to read uh, the data from uh, the post processing folder and compare the data from the CFT result with the data of the Ria et al. that provided in this file. To pass process data and plot uh, the data against experimental or other CFT results, we use uh, Genoplat. Genoplat is an open source package for plotting data. Uh, I found uh, the official web page of the Genoplat on the Google and now I open it. You can find here some documentation and uh, some instruction for the install this package for different uh, operating systems. Here is the user manual and other files maybe that help you and for example a tutorial that provided on this website uh, you can find here. Here is an example of using Genopolat. Uh, they set the title and the set the grid and specify the y label and x label and use a mathematical formula and then plot the data you can easily uh, follow this example and use it for your purpose i have written a file or a script for the plotting data in in this file i open it by genie application i set the terminal to the png color this is the format of uh, produce it uh, fi figure and i set the name to the velocity y.png 
by this command set output to the name that I want to use. Uh, if you want to use a logger scale, you can use set log, or in this test case, I prefer to use normal and general scale. Uh, for the label, I set the title to the velocity profile at the center line, and for the X label, I set to the Y uh, divided by L, and the Y label is dimensionless velocity, U divided by U0. The range of the X is specified here between 0 and 1, and for the Y also I specify according to the picture that uh, I show you at the first of this uh, video. Okay. I also set the grid to see the grid in my picture. For the plotting, I use plot command. I sort the data for this file. This file is the directory of the extracted data by single graph command, single graph utility. In the cavity post processing single graph and this time, uh, this time we can find uh, a file with the name line u.xy. I use the first column and divided it by this value 0 0.1. This is the length of the cavity. And the second column divided by 1. This is the u0 or uh, the velocity of the top wall. And the title of this line is the present study or icofoam. The second plot use the data that provided in this file, the ria data. I show you in the first of this video uh, a data that extracted from the figure that provided on the safety online website. I use the first column and second column. And the title of this uh, line is Ria et al. And the year that they uh, uh, conducted this work. I, I show this line by point, the first one by line. Here by line. Okay. And now we can open again the terminal and I'm here in the cavity directory I check the files again here I can back to the previous folder oh yes here I'm looking for this file this is my script that was written for the plotting data by genuplot I type genuplot and enter it now I want to load we use the load to load a script velocity.p. When I press enter, uh, it generates a figure with the name of the velocity.py.png. You can find the picture here, the velocity.y.png, as we specify in the script. The present study or ICO font result uh, is presented here by blue line, as you see here, and the points is the real all results. There is a good agreement between the safety result, the blue line, and the final difference results obtained from the Ria et al. Uh, paper. As you see, we can use uh, icoform for the cavity, and we also validate uh, the solver in this uh, geometry. Okay, in the next video, uh, we're gonna to show how you can uh, change the FE schemes and FE solution to use different uh, convection and um, time, uh, time discretization schemes, and also, how you can uh, refine the mesh i wish you enjoyed this video and if you want to see further video please don't forget to subscribe and until the next video goodbye